So yesterday, May 13, 2015, I met Anna Kendrick again. But this time I vlogged most of it, so I don't have to explain it to you, you can just watch the video, which I will be rolling after this introduction clip. But the first part of it I didn't vlog, so that's what I'm about to explain to you. So basically the part I didn't vlog that much was when she arrived at the Today Show and was on her way in. I didn't vlog that because I wanted to take a selfie with her and I'd be using this camera to take the selfie and I can't vlog and take this selfie at the same time. So I didn't vlog as much, but afterwards I already got my selfie so I committed to just vlogging that moment, which you will see later. But for now I will be telling you what happened during the portion that I didn't exactly vlog. I'm reading what my friend sent to me because when I'm really happy or excited about something, I tend to forget what happened to me. I asked my friend who was there with me to give me a play-by-play -play of what happened, and this is what she sent me, and I can corroborate that this is right. My friends and I were waiting by the Today Show stage door, and we saw a car pull up. We weren't sure if it was her, and then someone opened the back door to her, the car, and we saw Anna Kendrick coming out. She got mildly sworn, mostly by people either asking her for a selfie or asking her to sign something. So she eventually took someone's sharpie to sign autographs. After signing a couple autographs, this clip happened. And she was totally adorable about dropping that sharpie. It was I'm glad I vlogged that moment because that was one of my favorite moments of the day. After that clip happened, she kept on walking toward the door. So as you can see, I've, I'm kind of waiting behind the entire crowd, trying to catch her after the crowd subsides, which doesn't really happen, but I was going to try my luck. Eventually, she got around the corner, and my friend took this picture for another kid that was there. After that kid got her, his picture with Anna, she got to me. When she got to me, I told her, I have something for you, and I handed her these things. Along with a handwritten letter, all in sheet protectors. Like I said, I don't really remember this part because it was just so amazing, but my friend, quote, said, she very excitedly said thank you. I do kind of remember that that she said something, but I didn't know what she said to me. But she definitely took them, and she was smiling, and she's very happy. And then I asked her for a selfie, and we took the selfie. While we were taking this selfie, I was holding her arm with my left hand. And it, the camera was taking a while to flash, and I was like, I'm so so, I was, in my head I was like, oh my gosh, this is taking so long, I hope she doesn't leave before it's taken. And she didn't leave, she was with me for at least a good five seconds, and five seconds is a long time to be taking a selfie. So then she went into the Today Show, did her thing, and she went back out about an hour later, and then this video clip happened, this video clip was one of the best 15 seconds of my life ever and I've been watching it over and over again non-stop since right after this happened. Enjoy this video clip because I have enjoyed it so many times. Can I have a hug? Can I have a hug? Of course! Please, please, please. Please. That's amazing. Do you want to sign it for me? I do. I really do. Anna, can I get a picture really fast? Thank you so much. She's got to get in a picture. Anna, right over here. Anna, Anna. Did you guys notice that when she was coming around the corner, she wasn't smiling? And I, I was telling people, maybe I'm hallucinating, but I'm pretty sure as soon as she saw me, she smiled this really, really huge smile. I didn't notice it at first, but then after watching the video for like a million times, I was like, wait a second. And then I slow motioned it, and I was like, oh my gosh. I think she definitely smiled when she saw me. That means she most likely looked at the things I gave her, if not the letter, at least the collages I made, and remembered me, whether it was my face, my bright 
coral jacket, whatever it was, she remembered me. Another reason why I think she saw and remember the things I gave her was that hug was completely the opposite of awkward. Like, you'd think asking a celebrity for a hug would be awkward. First of all, I asked her and she said, of course, very energetically. And then the actual hug, which I couldn't vlog because I was holding the camera, was so tight. Like, we'd known each other for years and we were seeing each other again for the first time in forever. It was just the most amazing feeling. Like, she... It was a tight squeeze. Like, I wasn't expecting that, but I felt so happy. And as you can hear, my squeal during the hug, because I couldn't believe what was happening. And then, I mean, I had the play bowl in my hand. I was kind of sticking it out in front of her so she'd see it, but I didn't... My first goal wasn't an autograph. It was a hug. All I really wanted was a hug. I was going to ask her for a hug on the way in, but it was just so chaotic and I think she was late or whatever. So I didn't ask her for the hug then. Because on the way in she was taking selfies with everyone. On the way out she didn't really take that many selfies with anyone. Like I said, I wasn't expecting an autograph. Because I already had an autograph from her from December. I got two of them. So I was really just going for a hug. And so she hugged me, went past me. As you saw in the video, but I'm just saying. She went past me and came back to sign my playbill while, I don't know who that was, her agent or publicist or someone was yelling that she had to leave and get in the car while the man standing next to me was bugging her for a selfie. She took the time not only to sign her name on my playbill, but she also wrote this. She said, what? <laughs> what? So that just happened. Just watching that video clip, I'm like saying to myself, what? What? Did that really just happen? That was a wicked quote. But my friend accidentally took this picture of when Anna was setting my playbill. Which I am eternally grateful for. All in all, that experience at the Today Show was unforgettable. I will never forget it for a very long time, if not for the rest of my life. And it just meant the world to me that there's even a slight possibility that she appreciated what I'd given to her enough for her to give me 15 seconds of her time, which is a lot. That is a lot of time to be giving one person, considering you're being swarmed by so many people. So never give up hope. You will meet her someday, and it will be as incredible and amazing for you as it was for me. We chose a good role model, you guys. Thank you for watching this video, and be sure to check out my vlog, which has all of the information and videos and pictures I've had with the three Pitch Perfect 2 cast members besides Anna, that I saw these past three days, as well as the story of how I met Kay Cannon. Thanks again. Bye. Can I have a hug? Can I have a hug? Of course. Oh, thank please, you please, so please. That's amazing. Do you want to sign it for me? I do. Anna, I really do. Anna, can I get a picture really fast? Thank you so much. Anna, right over here. Anna, can I, Anna, Anna.